The governors need to do the right thing and allow these very important essential places of faith to open right now for this weekend. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. Even before the president took the stage this afternoon, Archbishop Bernard Hebda had said it was time for churches to reopen. In fact, he had a series of calls with Governor Walls. The two had been expected to hold a joint press conference. That fell by the wayside with the president's announcement that it should be up to faith leaders to make the call. They love their congregations. They love their people. They don't want anything bad to happen to them or to anybody else. But there is a way to social distance like you are here in places of worship. And I think what we're trying to say with the CDC guidance is there's a way for us to work together. The governor's press secretary told us the governor's had many productive conversations with faith leaders in Minnesota over the last few weeks. His top priority continues to be the health and safety of Minnesotans. In America, we need more prayer, not less. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the president's uh, presentation today was short and sweet, and uh, then up the, after that, it was about an hour of Dr. Burks and others talking about what it could all mean. Now, the, the guidelines from the CDC are very familiar, things like encouraging people not to go to church if they're sick, also wear cloth masks, uh, disinfect, wash hands regularly, those kinds of things. But again, the governor is still sorting through uh, the guidelines from the CDC and has not indicated that he's going to change his advice and his order about limiting gatherings to 10 or fewer. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John.